Hello everybody out there in social media land is your personal injury attorney Derek Bernstein here again for another legal blast today I want to talk to you about a question that I got from one of my viewers which asked me to talk about defamation so defamation comes in two forms first is libel which is written form second is slander which is verbal form but I want to focus on defamation in the libel form because we're all in the Instagram LinkedIn Facebook watching me do this and that's where people leave me comments and, and make comments on other people's pages so defamation by definition is publishing a false statement so to publish you have to actually be seen by a third person so if you put it on Facebook that's publishing your statement it has to be false about a person and the falsity of the statement caused injury to the plaintiff so first we look at it did you publish it yes you put something on Facebook was it about the person who's suing you? Yes. Your friend from down the block, you wrote some nasty stuff. It was it to a third person? Yep, because it's for Facebook to see, so you did publish it. And then the falsity of the statement, did it cause injury to the plaintiff? That person lost their job. That person's um, reputation in the community is now bad. Everybody thinks badly of that person. But remember, the best defense to a defamation, libel, slander suit is the truth. So if you're out there and you said that your friend was a terrible mother or she was drinking behind the wheel with her kids in the car and that's why she lost a license or lost her um, job and they sue you and you pull up the police report that shows that that person blew over the legal limit and was tried by a jury of their peers, well guess what? you're not going to have to pay that person. But I remind you that when you do get sued by somebody, even if you do have the truth on your side, it is good to get an attorney who knows the laws that can defend you um, against such. And if it is a frivolous lawsuit, there's ways that you could possibly have the other side have to pay your attorney's fees, but that gets into a different post. So keep your questions coming. Hope this answered your question out there and uh, have a good day.